Today, we're gonna to be talking about time. Obviously, we're talking about time lapses as the title. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make it go from a normal looking time lapse like this onto a motion blurry, cinematic looking time lapse like this. And it's actually really simple to do. So let's get into it. Hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. And if you don't know what a time lapse is, this is pretty much what it is. There's two different ways of shooting a time lapse. First way is shooting a bunch of photos in the same location, then stringing it together in a sequence. Second way is shooting video and then just speeding that up in post. If you have a little bit more time, doing the photo way is probably better because you're able to actually shoot in raw, have a lot more creative control over the highlights, the shadows and everything like that. And also the dimensions are generally gonna be much bigger than just 1920 by 1080. So you're able to actually resize it in post and everything like that. So that's really helpful. But if you don't have time and you're like me and you're like a vlogger or something and you're just really run and gun and you just want to get a time lapse just smashed out. That was really exaggerated. I don't know why I yelled that. Setting up the camera and you're just like putting it in one spot and then filming and then speeding it up in post. It's the most convenient way to make a time lapse. But this said, the information that I'm telling you right now still applies if you're doing a photo time lapse as well. But yeah, if you haven't noticed by now, we're going to be talking about the video version, not the photo version. In case you haven't heard this a million times, the lower the shutter speed, the brighter the image, but the more motion blur and the higher the shutter speed, the darker the image and the less less motion blur. All right? So that's why in nighttime situations, a lot of the time lapses that you see have a lot of motion blur because in order to get the image to be brighter, they open up the shutter for a longer period of time so that there's more light that's let into the image. So they don't have to increase the ISO and make the image all grainy. But when you see the time lapses that are shot during the day, a lot of the time you'll notice that it's very stop and start and there's like no motion blur at all. It's very solid. I don't even know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. Like it's just very stop and start, no motion blur. But I'm gonna tell you this trick to make sure that your time Time lapses actually do have motion blur because what the motion blur actually does is it emulates the actual blur of the subjects that are moving by to make it look like everything's going really fast. Because if you think about it, if you're running like at a speed of like maybe a thousand times your normal speed, obviously you're gonna see some motion blur. Like you're not just gonna be like from here to here without any motion blur at all. Like even just doing this, there's motion blur from that. I'm like, you can't see me. <laughs> in order to do that, you need to be able to open the shutter for a longer period of time without having all of that light come in from the daylight. So what you need, once again, are ND filters. Now, I've talked about ND filters in so many of my tutorials, but I'm just gonna recap it really quick. So an ND filter pretty much just cuts out light that comes into the sensor. So this is what I mean. So right now I have no ND filter on this camera at all. It's currently shooting at one over 125 shutter speeds. So there's not much motion blur at all. Because we want to lower the shutter speed in order to increase the motion blur. If we do that, more light is let into the sensor. So right now we're at one over four and it's just blown out. Like you can't see anything. That's when we put these on. So I've put it up to one over 125 again. So now screwing on the ND filter it's way too dark so now let's put it back to one over four and there you go now there's going to be a whole bunch of motion blur and that's what's going to make it look more cinematic anyways if you like this video subscribe that like button and like that subscribe you know what to do <laughs> it was awesome hanging out with you guys again and i'll catch you guys next time Thank you.